Wow, tons of bait right here. Tons. Right here. You can head out there. You want to head that way first? No, I'm honestly, I'm not expecting anything today. I'm just following you. <laughs> A fish? Yeah, you should expect some fish. When I expect something, then it's lately it hasn't been going well. Oh, there's anchovies right here. They're eating too. Yep. They are, they're tiny. Yeah. Oh, they're biting though. There you go. Now I know how Die Hard feels when he's catching bait. Woo! So this is what it feels like to catch fish. It's more fun than catching the actual fish. I know. Catch and cook anchovy? It's this sabiki, guys. This sabiki is like really tiny. You can't even see it. Yeah, they're all underneath me. Loading up, loading up. Holy shit, that's a smell. Tiny anchovies. I wish I had my D hooker. This is fun, guys. Honestly, catching fish is catching fish. This is still a lot of fun. It's not salmon, but the next step is salmon. Honestly, guys, if I'm not catching salmon, loading up bait for salmon is the next best thing. This is really satisfying and it's fun. 
especially with my new fish finder. Um, I really see the bait. I'm not guessing where they are and it's uh, really efficient. I have my own rod dedicated to a sabiki. So I'm not switching my setups all the time. It's just a really nice calm day today. And the fish are biting. What else can you ask for? Oh yeah, bottom's nice. Bottom's flat. All right, guys, so we're fishing today with Die Hard Fishing. I'm using a spreader bar. Link in the description below. I got a 10 ounce torpedo weight, two feet to a sliding snail rig, and a sexed herring. And I'm using a sext herring today that I caught earlier this year. Also for my setup, I'm using a Daiwa Saltis two-speed reel, size 30. And I'm using a six foot six Saltis medium action rod. This is my go-to setup. It's very similar to Moomoo's Travala setup. But personally, I like this one a little bit better. I like the shape and I like the bend of the rod. It's really versatile, just like the Travala is. So let's give it a shot. I put a little spin on here. Our goal for today is to get our first 30 inch halibut and first ocean halibut. So I'm gonna slowly let it down so it doesn't tangle. Even if you have the spreader bar, you still wanna slowly and smoothly let down your bait. And we're fishing. The sexed herring, guys. I forgot to give it a name. So last time I named my bait Johnny. So today my bait's name is gonna be Marcus. So we got Marcus down there. Oh, see some bait here. So let's jig up some more bait while we're waiting. It's all flat right here. Yeah. Whoa, what did I catch here? It's going crazy. <laughs> I got you a secret, I got your secret bait. Okay guys, so we just caught a mackerel, same bait as Die Hard, and since he's pretty live and fresh, I'm going to throw him on. I'm fishing.
55. The guy at the, um, at the pier yelled at me, 45 feet with the hoochie. Oh, fish on, fish on. This is a big one. Uh-oh. Am I ready for this? Oh, did it come off? It came off. Oh, damn it. Dude, did you see that? That was big. That was big. My macro, oh, it was halibut. The macro's all sliced up. Damn, that was my 30 incher, bro. How did that come off? Damn it. Stay away from me, Adam. I'm gonna get him. Oh man. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I hate losing fish. Jeez. I'd rather not catch a fish than lose a fish. Oh, we know there's a big one around here. He got a taste. He barely got hooked. He didn't know he was hooked. Man, I've never had a halibut on like that before. I know that because I saw the teeth marks on the uh, on the bait. But with these bigger baits, I think they hold it in their mouths. They don't necessarily get a mouthful of hook. Maybe the hook isn't exposed everywhere. And I set my drag pretty tight when I'm fishing for halibut. I don't necessarily want it to peel drag like in salmon. I like having the drag a little tighter. I think it sets the hook a little better. And I really should have set the hook um, instead of letting it run like I normally do. I think with smaller baits, that's okay. But with these bigger baits, I think they hold it in their mouths. They don't necessarily get a mouthful of hook. Come on, Marcus, get it together. You're letting me down, buddy. Don't let me down, Marcus. Maybe I need to make a sacrifice to the gods. Okay, sacrifice to the gods. Sacrifice. what I've been waiting for. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, 
this damn AI is so big. It doesn't feel like a halibut though. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but I wanted my, I thought it was my 30-incher. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just disappointing when it's not what you're looking for. <sighs> I got to work on my landing my uh, fish on this thing. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, that's a nice sling cod. Yeah, pregnant. Whoa, whoa, what is, what's going on? Octopus. Watch that. this, guys. Oh. <laughs> look at that thing. Oh, look at him. Oh. <laughs> look at that thing. Now look at his belly. I should have kept it in. It's like deflated. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh, I shouldn't have I should have done that over my kayak. Oh, it smells like half or it smells like Monterey Bay. Oh my gosh, look how much was in his st stomach, boys. Oh my god. Look at this. Ooh, it's like half digested. Do you need any squid? Bunch, there's probably half a dozen squid here. There's, it's in my pedal drives. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's octopus too. I'm gonna use one of these for my bait. Ooh. I'll use that. I'll use that. Wow, this guy had a meal. Now I'm gonna throw this, throw this at Die Hard. <laughs> Chum the oh, water. Right in the face. Chum the water. Oh, I got him in the face, guys. <laughs> got him in the eye. That's nasty. That's like a good one though. Probably like 27. 20 yeah. That's pretty good for here. Get yeah. Oh man, it's not my halibut, but I'll take it. Oh, he's changing colors on me. Damn it! My pliers. Mother. Yeah, I got fish grips. So I'll just stick my hand in there, get bit. Just make a viral video today. Look at the color on them now, huh? Have you ever seen one like that? Yellow? That's pretty weird, huh? Never seen a yellow one. Okay. Okay, buddy, don't tell your friends. think uh, I'll let Marcus live he did good he did a good job Marcus deserves to live
he doesn't deserve to get eaten.